you might as well need a PhD to understand some of the scientific journals born on this campus. But for a group of local high school students, it's a labor of love and dedication. <laughs> so tell me in a nutshell, what is the Journal Club about and who are you attracting? Journal Club is an age-old tradition in academics where you take a particular journal article and you would review it in detail as a group. It's a way to learn what's new and current and upcoming in science. So when we founded it, we were actually looking for the kids who might not be super committed to science yet and trying to pull them in. So we were trying to open the world of neuroscience to a broader array of kids. And I love that it's oh, so many girls. <laughs> so the Journal Club grew out of a love of neuroscience. What do you hope to pass along to them? Science is incredible because it sparks and sustains curiosity, period. I just think that is the blessing of science. And whatever they do, I hope that that lesson continues. I think something that would be really fulfilling for me is using what I've learned to try to make healthcare not only like more equitable, but kind of examining neuroscience and psychopathology, especially in marginalized uh, groups. And I think just like making the field more diverse would be something that I'd really want to do. Neuroscience has always been a big part of my family and my brother has epilepsy. In eighth grade, I had a brain injury and was out of commission for a couple months. And so I joined the Neuroscience Journal Club slightly after like recovering from that. And so for me, learning more about the brain has really helped me understand my life. I had kind of had a budding interest in like mental health and psychology. Um, and so I th thought it'd be pretty interesting to learn about like the neuroscience side of things, like the biological reasons for why we develop mental illness and how to treat mental illness. And I've certainly gotten experience learning about that through the Neuroscience Club. You have a stressful schedule. Heck, you're a brain surgeon. What is the personal accomplishment for you for these girls? To have all these little neuroscientists running around the world, I think that's, that's, that's all we're asking for. Again, we're priming that pipeline, and I'm hoping that someday, like, they're in my, my position and they're actually leading, you know, the next generation.